The International Criminal Court investigation in the Democratic Republic of the Congo or the situation in the Democratic Republic of the Congo is an ongoing investigation by the International Criminal Court into crimes committed in the Democratic Republic of the Congo during the Second Congo War and its aftermath, including the Atori and Kivu conflicts. The war started in 1998 and despite a peace agreement between combatants in 2003, conflict continued in the eastern parts of the country for several years. In April 2004 the government of the DRC formally referred the situation in the Congo to the International Criminal Court, and in June 2004, Prosecutor Luis Moreno Ocampo, formally opened an investigation. To date, arrest warrants have been issued for Thomas Lubanga Dialo Germán Katanga Mathieu Nujolo Kui Bosco Nta Ganda Calixte Mbarashimana Silvestre Mutakimura, Lubanga was imprisoned. Katanga was convicted, Kui was acquitted, and the pre-trial chamber declined to confirm the charges against Mbarashimana, currently a fugitive. Nta Ganda turned himself in to the U.S. Embassy in Kigali on 18 March 2013, requesting to be extradited to the ICC. Topic. Historical background The Democratic Republic of Congo DRC was a colony of Belgium between 1885 and 1960. Shortly after independence from Belgium, Mobutu Sese Siko seized power in a military coup d'état and installed himself as president. Under Mobutu's authoritarian rule, the country was known as Zaire. By 1996, conflict from the Rwandan genocide spilled over into Zaire and Hutu militias, including the Interahamwe, were using refugee camps in the Kivu region to attack Rwanda. Rwandan and Ugandan armed forces invaded Zaire to fight Hutu militias, and ultimately overthrew Mobutu, in what was to become the First Congo War. Rwandan and Ugandan forces were joined by Congolese politicians and militia leaders opposed to Mobutu's rule and these groups joined forces to become the Alliance of Democratic Forces for the Liberation of Congo AFDL, led by Laurent Desiree Kabila. In 1997, Mobutu fled Zaire and Kabila named himself president and changed the name of the country back to the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Following his victory, tensions soon rose between Kabila and the various factions of the AFDL who came to oppose his rule. Rwandan forces retreated to Goma on the Rwandan border and formed the Rally for Congolese Democracy RDC, and in response Ugandan forces instigated the formation of Movement for the Liberation of the Congo MLC, under the command of Jean-Pierre Bemba. These two groups started the Second Congo War by attacking the army of Kabila's government. Kabila was assassinated by his bodyguard in 2001 and succeeded as president by his son, Joseph, who eventually negotiated peace talks to end the war. Although one of the tenets of the peace accords was that rebel forces would join the Congolese army, violence has continued to the present day, especially in the Kivu and Atori regions. Referral <inaudible> 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 In July 2003, ICC prosecutor Luis Moreno Ocampo announced that he had received communications from individuals and non-governmental organizations regarding the situation in the Congo and that his office would closely follow developments there. In September of that year, Moreno Ocampo informed the Assembly of States Parties the governing body of the ICC that he was prepared to apply for authorization to begin a formal investigation but that he believed a referral from the Congolese government would expedite the investigation. In April 2004 Joseph Kabila formally referred the situation in the DRC to the ICC prosecutor and Moreno Ocampo formally opened the investigation that June. The DRC investigation was the first formal investigation conducted by the International Criminal Court. <laughs> <laughs> Charges The ICC has jurisdiction to prosecute individuals who are accused of committing crimes defined under the Rome Statute the treaty that established the court as either war crimes, crimes against humanity, or genocide. 
The prosecutor charged six people with crimes within the jurisdiction of the court in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Thomas Lubanga Dialo, Germán Katanga and Matthew Nujolo Kui, Bosco Nta Ganda, Calixte Mbarashimana, and Silvestra Mutakimura. Thomas Lubanga Dialo Thomas Lubanga Dialo was the alleged founder and leader of the Union of Congolese Patriots and its military wing, the Patriotic Forces for the Liberation of the Congo He was charged on 10 February 2006 with three counts related to the military use of children from July 2002 to December 2003 in the Atori region of the DRC. Counts 1 and 2 are alleged to have taken place at training camps in Buell, Central, Mandro, RW Ampara, Bagoro, Soda, and Irumu. According to the arrest warrant for Lubanga Dialo, Count 3 took place during hostilities in Libya and MBAU in October 2002, in Largu at the beginning of 2003, in Lipri and Bagoro in February and March 2003, in Bunia in May 2003 and in Jugu and Mungbalu in June 2003." The counts are as follows Enlisting children, a war crime in violation of Article 8 -B XXVI of the Rome Statute Conscription of children, a war crime in violation of Article 8 -B XXVI of the Rome Statute Using children to participate in hostilities, a war crime in violation of Article 8 -B XXVI of the Rome Statute. In 2012, he was convicted and sentenced to 14 years in prison. <laughs> Germain Katanga and Mathieu Nujolo Kui Germán Katanga, also known simply as Simba, the Swahili word for lion, was allegedly the commander of the Front for Patriotic Resistance in Atori FRPI. Matthew Nujolo Kui was allegedly the leader of the Nationalist and Integrationist Front FNI. Katanga and Kui were charged with nine counts of crimes against humanity and war crimes allegedly committed between January and March 2003 in the Atori region of the DRC against members of the Hema people. Katanga and Kui were indicted in July 2007. Specifically, Katanga and Kui are also accused of launching a coordinated attack against the civilian population of the village of Bagoro on 24 February 2003. According to the warrants issued for Katanga and Kui, the attack included the murder of about 200 civilians, the imprisoning of civilians in a room filled with corpses, and the sexual enslavement of several women and girls. The counts are as follows Murder, a crime against humanity in violation of Article 7 -1 -A of the Rome Statute. Willful killings, a war crime in violation of Article 8 -A -I of the Rome Statute. Inhumane acts, a crime against humanity in violation of Article 7 -K of the Rome Statute. Inhumane or cruel treatment, a war crime in violation of Article 8 -A -E or C -I of the Rome Statute. Using children to participate in hostilities, a war crime in violation of Article 8 -B XXVI of the Rome Statute. Sexual slavery, a crime against humanity in violation of Article 7 -G of the Rome Statute. Sexual slavery, a war crime in violation of Article 8 -B XXII or e -V of the Rome Statute. Attack against a civilian population, a war crime in violation of Article 8 -B -I or e -I of the Rome Statute. Pillaging, a war crime in violation of Article 8 -B -XVI or e -V of the Rome Statute. <laughs> Bosco Nta Ganda Bosco Nta Ganda is allegedly the former Deputy Chief of the General Staff of the Patriotic Forces for the Liberation of the Congo FPLC, the military wing of the Union of Congolese Patriots UPC. On the 22nd of August 2006 he was charged with three counts of war crimes. Enlisting children, a war crime in violation of Article 8 -B XXVI of the Rome Statute. 
conscription of children, a war crime in violation of Article 8 -B XXVI of the Rome Statute, using children to participate in hostilities, a war crime in violation of Article 8 -B XXVI of the Rome Statute. On 14 July 2012, he was also charged with three crimes against humanity and four counts of war crimes. Murder, a crime against humanity in violation of Article 7 1 a of the Rome Statute Rape and sexual slavery, crimes against humanity in violation of Article 7 1 G of the Rome Statute Persecution, a crime against humanity in violation of Article 7 1 H of the Rome Statute Murder, a war crime in violation of Article 8 2 C I of the Rome Statute Attack against the civilian population, a war crime in violation of Article 8 2 e I of the Rome Statute Rape and sexual slavery, war crimes in violation of Article 8 2 e v of the Rome Statute Pillaging, a war crime in violation of Article 8 2 e v of the Rome Statute Calixte Mbarashimana was allegedly Executive Secretary of the Democratic Forces for the Liberation of Rwanda FDLR. He was charged with 11 criminal counts. Attack against a civilian population, a war crime in violation of Article 8 2 B I or e I of the Rome Statute. Destruction of property, a war crime in violation of Article 8 2 a I V or e X I I of the Rome Statute. Murder, a war crime in violation of Article 8 2 a I or C I of the Rome Statute Murder, a crime against humanity in violation of Article 7 1 a of the Rome Statute Torture, a war crime in violation of Article 8 2 a e or C I of the Rome Statute Torture, a crime against humanity in violation of Article 7 1 f of the Rome Statute Rape, a war crime in violation of Article 8 2 B XXII or e v of the Rome Statute Rape, a crime against humanity in violation of Article 7 1 G of the Rome Statute Inhumane Acts, a crime against humanity in violation of Article 7 1 K of the Rome Statute Inhuman Treatment, a war crime in violation of Article 8 2 a e of the Rome Statute Persecution, a crime against humanity in violation of Article 7 1 H of the Rome Statute. Silvestra Mudacumura Silvestra Mudacumura was charged with nine counts of war crimes on 12 July 2012. Murder, a war crime in violation of Article 8 2 C I of the Rome Statute. Mutilation, a war crime in violation of Article 8 2 C I of the Rome Statute Cruel treatment, a war crime in violation of Article 8 2 C I of the Rome Statute Torture, a war crime in violation of Article 8 2 C I of the Rome Statute Outrage upon personal dignity, a war crime in violation of Article 8 2 C E of the Rome Statute Attack against the civilian population, a war crime in violation of Article 8 2 e I of the Rome Statute Pillaging, a war crime in violation of Article 8 2 e v of the Rome Statute Rape, a war crime in violation of Article 8 2 e v of the Rome Statute Destruction of property, a war crime in violation of Article 8 2 e X I I of the Rome Statute Topic. Court proceedings The prosecution of the five suspects was separated into four cases. Germain Katanga and Mathieu Nujolo Kui were tried together and the other three suspects were tried individually. The trial of Bosco Nta Ganda started in September 2015. At this moment, Silvestra Mutacumura was still not arrested. The Prosecutor v. Thomas Lubanga Dialo 
The prosecutor applied for a warrant for Lubanga Diallo's arrest on 12 January 2006 and the warrant was issued under seal on 10 February 2006. Lubanga Diallo was already in a Kinshasa prison when the warrant was issued in connection with the killing of nine Bangladeshi peacekeepers from the United Nations Mission in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Congolese authorities surrendered Lubanga Diallo to the ICC on 17 March 2006, he was transferred to the ICC detention center in The Hague, and he made his initial appearance before the court on 20 March 2006. His confirmation of charges hearing took place from 9 to 28 November 2006 and pre-trial chamber I confirmed the charges on 29 January 2007. Before the trial against Lubanga Diallo started, the pre-trial chamber halted proceedings and ordered Diallo released on grounds that the prosecutor had failed to disclose evidence to the defense. In a subsequent ruling the chamber reversed its previous decision and allowed the trial to begin. Additionally, the senior trial lawyer, Prosecutor Eckhard Withoff, was removed from the case only a month before the trial started. Lubanga Diallo's trial began on 26 January 2009 but on 8 July 2010 the trial chamber once again stayed the proceedings because of the conduct of the prosecutor and ordered him released. Following a successful appeal by the prosecutor the order to release Lubanga Diallo was reversed and the trial resumed. Closing arguments concluded on 26 August 2011. In 2012, Lubanga was found guilty and sentenced to 14 years imprisonment. The prosecutor v. Germán Katanga and Mathieu Nujolo Kui The prosecutor applied for warrants for the arrest of Katanga and Kui on 25 June 2007 and they were issued by pre-trial chamber I on 2 July and 6 July, both under seal. Katanga was arrested in the DRC and was surrendered to the court on 17 October 2007. Kui was arrested on 6 February 2008 and surrendered to the court the following day. Katanga had his initial hearing at the court on the 22nd of October 2007 while Kui first appeared on the 11th of February 2008. The confirmation of charges hearing took place between the 27th of June and the 18th of July 2008 and the charges were confirmed by pre-trial chamber I on the 26th of September 2008. The trial of Katanga and Kui began on the 24th of November 2009 and concluded on the 23rd of May 2012. Kui was acquitted, and Katanga was convicted of murder and pillage over a deadly attack on Bogoro. The prosecutor v. Bosco Nta Ganda The prosecutor applied for a warrant for Taganda's arrest on 12 January 2006. The warrant was issued on the 22nd of August 2006 under seal and subsequently unsealed on the 28th of April 2008. NTA Ganga is currently at large as a fugitive. Since being indicted, NTA Ganda had become a general in the Congolese armed forces and despite the fact that there was an international warrant for his arrest, still lived openly in the Kivu region of the Eastern DRC until he turned himself into the US embassy in Rwanda on the 18th of March 2013. The prosecutor v. Calixte Mbarishamana The prosecutor applied for a warrant for Calixte Mbarishamana's arrest on 20 August 2010 and it was issued under seal on 28 September 2010. Mbarushiman was arrested by French authorities in Paris on of October 2010. He was then transferred to the court's detention centre in The Hague. His confirmation of charges hearing took place between 16 and 21 September 2011, and on 16 December 2011 the judges of pre-trial chamber I by a 2-1 majority declined to confirm the charges and ordered Mbarashimana's release from custody. Judge Sanji Mmasonono Manajeng, the presiding judge, dissented. See also International Criminal Court investigation in Uganda